Strong showers and storms rumble through southern Colorado this afternoon. This is what's left over now along well, Highway 287 and Highway 50 coming out of Lamar, heading towards the Kansas line and south of Highway 50 down to the New Mexico line near Campo and Springfield. Campo really got hammered today. We saw a wind gust to hurricane force this afternoon. What you see along the I-25 corridor is, is false. There are some real showers, though. Along I-70 as you head over towards Burlington and into Western portions of Kansas and north of I 70 over towards I 76 where it meets and gets into Nebraska. Skyscan satellite and radar, the strong showers and storms are indicated very nicely as we go through our Sunday afternoon into our Sunday evening. Now, again, for the most part, it's all clear in terms of the actual showers. There are still plenty of clouds around, though, helping to keep our temperatures up just a shade. Readings right now sitting in the upper 50s, 58 at I 25 in Fillmore with the American Furniture Warehouse camera. Winds are calm, traffic flowing smoothly along the interstate. Streets are somewhat wet in some places, especially in the southeastern part of the state, which saw rain later than we did here in the springs. 63 at Pueblo West, Highway 50 in Purcell Boulevard with the Parkview Medical Center camera. Winds out of the north, northeast at 7. 59 at the Springs Airport, 63 in Pueblo, 66 still in Canyon City. You didn't pick up very much rain at all in the Canyon City area, so you got much warmer than the Springs in Pueblo did because there was more clouds. There were more clouds along that I-25 corridor. 66 still in the Hunt and Lamar, despite the fact you picked up rain earlier on this afternoon and evening. Skycast, a projected satellite and radar. As we go through our Monday morning, we don't see a whole bunch in the way of any kind of showers. It's not until Monday afternoon that we begin to pick up another chance for rain. It all starts west of Interstate 25 over in the mountains then spreads its way to the east across the big highway by 3 o'clock. And so as we go through our afternoon commute, there will be more showers and storms to deal with. And some of these could be on the strong and severe side once again, especially over in the eastern portion of the state. Another line is expected to form over eastern Colorado, making its way once again into western Kansas. So it's a similar story to what we saw this afternoon, although the numbers of strong to severe showers and storms are going to be less than what we saw today. Skycast precipitation, widespread totals of more than an inch, maybe as much as two inches in southeastern Colorado, which will be great news because you're still in significant drought. Meanwhile, we'll see rain just about everywhere. The big question is not if, it's where it falls and how heavy it falls. About a quarter of an inch of rain fell on the Waldo Canyon burn scar today. If we see similar totals over quick periods of time, there could be some flooding to deal with, even especially if there's more than that in a one hour period or so, about an inch or so, that could cause some flooding problems. We'll have to test those mitigation efforts. Hopefully they've worked out the things they've, they've been doing for the last year. 52 in the Springs, 56 in Pueblo for tonight, 53 in Canyon City, still lower 60s in the Plains. And as we go through our seven day forecast, high temperatures make their way to the mid to upper 80s. And we'll see more chances for showers and storms on Tuesday. That gives way to a slight calm period a chance for us to breathe in the weather center. And then we see another chance for showers and storms on Friday and Saturday. Bubble your seven day forecast, high temperatures, lower to middle 90s Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So kind of warm, but not much warmer than it should be at this point in the year. And then a chance for showers and storms comes back into the picture at the end of the work week. Kenyon City seven day forecast, you'll see a chance for showers and storms tomorrow again on Tuesday. Friday, you'll also see a small chance for a pop up shower and storm here and there. High temperatures pushing 90 degrees by the end of the week. Teller County seven day forecast, much more active weather pattern is going to see a chance for showers and storms all the way through Saturday, but not a great chance, only 10% Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. High temperatures, upper 60s and lower 70s. Lows are going to be sitting in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Good chance for showers and storms tomorrow up in the mountains. Yeah, well, anytime they get rain out east, mm -hmm. as long as there's not hail, they're thankful. So The dance is working. Apparently. A lot of, lot of, <laughs> lot of dances dance. and prayers were answered yeah, today, that's, that's right. for sure. All right.